Hi, welcome to Talking About Live via Zoom. I'm Joe Griffith, and I'm being joined by the one, the only, Joey Walters. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, First time on here for me. <laughs> oh, is, well, you've made plenty of cameos, but you, you, don't, you don't get uh, totally on the air very often. No, I don't. Uh, so we're in different states right now. So how are you doing over there? I'm in New Jersey. I'm not even home. I'm not in New York. I'm in New Jersey. So, like, we're all over the place. Okay. Running around. Um, did My you vote? Not yet. I've been trying. I've been going and I've seen the long, long line. And I'm like, no, I'm not staying on the line. Because where I live, it's like six or seven blocks long. I passed today on my way through Manhattan from Queens, because I was at my mother's all day. And I saw in front of Bellevue, the line going up another couple of blocks, because um, my area is, I think, 26th Street and 1st Avenue. Okay. And the line was already a few blocks long. So I was like, no, I don't think so. Not today. Oh, but it's going to get done, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. Most of the people I talk to and most of the people I see posting in Manhattan uh, are saying that the lines look, look worse than they are. A lot of people are in and out in half an hour. But I have heard one person, one or two people over on the weekend days say that they waited two hours. Uh, on Sunday, I was in Manhattan. I parked my car. We looked at the line. It was six blocks long. Mm -hmm. And the guy, the attendant said, you're going to wait at least three hours. Okay. He said, minimum three hours. I said, all right. I said, later. I'll come back another day. I right. think maybe tomorrow or Thursday or whenever. Whenever you have a block of time to, to wait, just in case. So I said, we, we were lucky. We said, we were online and out in less than half an hour that's good and yeah so you vote there or you vote in new york still uh, uh, i vote in florida okay um and uh we didn't go early voting here you can go to any any precinct to do it so you just you show up and they check they check everything all your information and and you're in and out that's pretty good. You can go to any precinct. Here we have designated areas. And in New York, they gave us a card that you scan, and they call it a fast pass. Okay. So there's no touching, nothing. They just scan a card, and you walk in. No questions, nothing. Well, that's what I was told. But Okay. I hear, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it is, if I tried to go out of the city, I'm sure it would be a little bit of a different story, but I can go to any any early voting place in the city with my voter ID card. And they, they, <laughs> the woman there was like, make sure you sign like your driver's license. So it's like, I'm there looking at my license and trying to sign it as close to. And I don't think here we have to sign because we have the voter ID card. Okay. Um, so I've mailed to everyone. I'm not sure how it is there now because it's been it's been three years since I voted in New York. Well, no, it was just it's new. I just got it like a few weeks ago. The card. That's why I don't have one or never had one. It's a new no. It's um, it's for COVID. So there it says it's um um what's the the terminology? Touchless. Touchless. They scan the card. Okay. You don't have to sign anything. The card is your signature. Okay. It could be good, it could be bad. As, as long as everyone holds on to their own card, that's fine. That's the key. My mother has two cards. They have the same numbers, but she has two cards. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure. I mean, if she lost one, then somebody could, could probably take advantage of that. But if, she, if two people tried with the same barcode, it would, one, it would, one would be right. rejected. No, but she got a second, first card because I think Queens, because she's in Queens, they had um, local government voting back in march or okay. april and that's why they had sent it and then the new one for now okay oh well uh, yeah it, it's crazy it's crazy but it's it's an incredibly important time and it's it's gotta it's gotta be done um I know you're you're a lot more you're more centrist than I am, but I think this time around we're definitely on the same side. We've always been on the same side. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm a little more center for We're all in this together. We're, I'm a little more center, yes. But I've always leaned Democrat, always. Mm -hmm. I'm not religious, and I, and I don't think it's Christian to be a racist. I don't think it's Christian to hate. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a Christian. Well, I'm supposed to be Catholic, but I don't consider myself a Christian. And I don't hate. But you were, you were raised... Catholic. With, with that influence. Yes. So, with my yeah. crazy mother, yes. And she's probably watching now. <laughs> you told her we're doing this live? No, let me send her a text. That's what he says. Donald Trump four? What was that? Probably. Yeah. I don't keep track anymore. I just say, hey, we're going live. And I try to get it, get it out there. And, uh, so that's about it. And yeah, just trying to trying to keep producing through all this. And this is I, I I'm trying to get her to Zoom, but she has a lot of difficulties. And I said, she goes, we can do this the live Zoom. I said, yes. Half the problem is her people she's going to interview. None of them are. Com she says You're computer done. savvy. That's what she okay. said. I'm like, I know people who are 20 years older than her that, that know how to use computers better than me. Okay. You know, it's just some people just have no idea. Okay. Well, I mean, for the, for the people watching, you know, the, the two or three people watching, your mom is uh, Nancy Goddess of The Goddess Show, uh, a New York City classic. Yes, for a long time. We've been on the air for, uh, what year is this? <laughs> <laughs> Since 1996. This year has been going on since 1996. It feels like it. It feels never ending. And this COVID thing is uh, ruining everything. I mean, I told, did I tell you about my um, not being able to get a permit because the Department of Buildings, people are working from home and not working, I think? Uh, a building permit? We've been waiting for months for a permit. We finally got it. We got the, um, I think Manhattan Borough, Assistant Manhattan Borough President. Is it, Nico, that's it? <laughs> the Assistant Manhattan Borough President, the Assistant, involved, and, and we got it in three days. Okay, well, you, you gotta make the right phone calls. Oh, exactly, I, and, you know. I but the, the ultimate point being is that COVID is affecting every, everywhere, even, even where in, my I, like, I, felt, I felt homeless for the last four and a half months or four months. I don't know how long I've been out of that. You've been couch surfing between relatives. No, I have a nice big room. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been changing rooms because um, I'm staying with my sister and she's been renovating her apartment. I mean, her apartment, her home. Okay. You know, painting and fixing the walls and, you know, updating some stuff, new light fixtures. And you know it's room by room, so we've stayed in almost every room in this house. Okay. So, so you're so basically you're just surfing from room to room, right? Couch bed to bed, and basically, basically. Plus, we always had room here, so it's no, you know, it's just her and the two of us. So it's a big house, and now she's got like a menagerie of animals. That's that's pretty common. I mean. Think about it. From when this started, the, uh, the the first of the COVID babies are about to be born. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm I'm just waiting for somebody to name their kid Quarantina. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh boy, or uh, or lockdown. Locked out. <laughs> this is my son. Lockdown. But uh, I don't know. Uh, so what in the news has been keeping you up at night? Um, you ready? I haven't been watching the news. Oh, is that the secret to a good night's sleep? I, I can't sleep as it is. I'm, I've been suffering in the song. I'm sleeping two to four night, hours a night. Okay. If he just called me. If I watch, if I watch the news uh, <laughs> too close to bedtime, it's like my eyes are open half the night. You know, it's just the hours are regular and then, you know, 
he's a teacher, so he's been leaving here like 10 to 6 in the morning mm-hmm. to be in school in Brooklyn from New Jersey. And, you know, the days that I have to go in and work or go to my mom, I drive all the way to Queens and Brooklyn, you know, because he works on like on the Brooklyn border. It's a pain in the butt. So, well, it's good. It's good that you have each other. Yeah. Because I, if, when I think of all the people who I could be uh, quarantined or stuck with, I'm very glad I'm stuck with who I am. But <laughs> I agree. I just wish I was home, in my own home. It'll happen. You'll get there. Um, yeah, like I was saying, say if I watch if I watch too much news before bedtime, say like, I'm wide awake, and it's like the whole between COVID anxiety, election anxiety, Supreme Court anxiety. It's like yeah, it's like my. I just don't understand how you know before the election, we um, the Democrats were not allowed to you know appoint. Um, America Garland. Right. And now they just appointed one right before an election. And I thought we weren't, they, we weren't, they weren't, no one was allowed to do that. Yeah. It, uh, the policy changes on, on a whim, depending on what the, what the Grand Turtle McConnell feels like. You know, it's like if it's his party, it's one. Can they undo that in, in January if, if he's out of office? I wish. Well, then people are talking about expanding the court because there's no um, there's no set li- set law that says the Supreme Court needs to be nine justices. It's been it's been less, it's been fewer, it's been more depending on depending on the time. I mean, it's been stable at nine for for decades now, but there's there's nothing that says that it has to be nine judges. They can go eleven, they can go thirteen, they can go fifteen. Um, yeah, it's been you know, a quote unquote gentleman's agreement to keep it at nine so far, but no party has gone so, so far as to politicize the court so much as the, the current Republican party has. And I think that that's going to have to be counteracted. I am, yeah, people are calling it stacking the court, which is, I think stacking the court is what the Republicans did with the federal judgeships and so forth. And this, I think expanding the court will restore the balance of it. And I think expanding the federal judiciary will restore the balance because it should be reflective of, of the citizenship of, of the country. And that is, yeah, it's not exactly 50-50, but a split close to the middle and to have the court so lopsided is, is not reflective of the country. Just like con- congressional districts are not reflective of the country. So um, that's, a, that's an, another whole big can of worms is this census and anxiety on top of all that. And the, the, yeah, the, the districts are going to be redrawn. Oh, no. And where are they going to be gone? Uh, I don't know. Um, I remember something about like a few years ago where my mom lives because she lives on the border of Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And you know how uh, neighborhoods shift. Where, because all the hipsters were moving into Bushwick, which is Brooklyn, and right. all the Hispanics were moving into Ridgewood, which is Queens. And one of the representatives wanted to expand her Brooklyn base to Queens and make Ridgewood Brooklyn just to satisfy her needs. Right. I don't think it happened, but because somebody says, Oh, I live in Ridgewood, Brooklyn. I said, If you live in Brooklyn, you don't live in Ridgewood. Yeah, I mean, but anyway, neither here nor there. But I mean, what it comes down to is right now we have the the, the members of Congress choosing their constituency instead of the other way around. Mm-hmm. Which a little bit better, like that, right? Yeah, I'm it comes to... and goes. Huh? It 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 comes and goes. I mean, we're on we're on Zoom. What what can we do? I mean, it's not like lighting in this particular room. It's the way the light is above, is right above me. That's why. Okay. Like my rainbow. Yeah, I love your rainbow. <laughs> it's not like we have Renee in our houses to do lighting. It's from Gay Pride. <laughs> not this year, I'm sure. It's from this year. Oh, okay. Was there one? Um, kind of, sorta. 
I mean, not really, but the vendors were out in the street selling. Oh, Kara's here. She's coming <gasps> out. Joey! Kara, I don't see you. I don't see you. Oh, either. no. Okay, All there right, we hold. go. I think I got it. Where are you? Oh, oh Here you can see I... you. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a second. Ah, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I'm not good at this. Wait, where do I have to? Oh, hold on. Okay. No, <laughs> uh, I have to go into settings. Hold on. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Louise. Ah, <laughs> uh, I miss you guys. I miss you too. I'd say it's so good to see you, but I can't see you. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Well, I Zoom regularly with friends. I just had to change my name because it's usually Joe and Nico on uh, my little corner there. So I just put, I took out Nico for temporarily, but. For my, we have like a drinking Zoom on Friday. Okay. You know, people get together, drink, get drunk, and say silly things and talk about everything from politics to who's doing who. You know. Hey, there's oh, you have to get one. <laughs> you have two now. Two what? I have two, two windows open. I do. That's okay. Yeah. I only see one. Um, Hold on. you know what you can do? Put your phone what? sideways. Um, I just got home, guys. <laughs> Put it sideways. So no! You can, so you can encompass the whole there thing. We go. That's much better. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but then I'm going to be looking. Oh, okay. Oh, look at your, <laughs> your beautiful faces. Hey, did you guys vote? Not yet. I'm trying. Oh, my God. Wait. I the did. people have never seen you, Joe. They have. I've worked on a few shows of different people. I think even I'm talking about when we had a, like adjust a mic or something. Uh, probably. It's a, usually, usually someone is saying, Joey, come and help me. Joey, Joey, Joey. And when my mother was hospitalized, you know, when she had um, surgery years ago, I hosted a few shows. Oh, right, right, right. I'm going back like 15, 20 years. I prefer to be behind the camera. I understand. <laughs> you look good. Saying. You guys look good. You too. I voted. Well, yes. I'm very sweaty right now, and I feel gross, but whatever. Some people like sweat. <laughs> oh, God. Um, did you guys vote? I did. Not yet. I'm going to. I've been checking the lines every day. When they're too long, I just keep going because I'm staying in Jersey, but I have to vote in Manhattan. I live in Manhattan. Why are you in Jersey? My apartment is. Um, oh, right, right, right. Renovation. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And because of COVID, it's taking longer. Well, I voted uh, Saturday, the first day of early voting in New York State. And I waited in line for an hour and a half. It took two hours, but it was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. And I saw it was either on MSNBC or um, CNN yesterday that 53 million Americans have mm -hmm. already voted early and it's up 161% since two, from the 2016 election. That's so amazing. That's, amazing. That's a lot it's, of people. It, it's great to have that participation, but hopefully it's the right people participating. But I think everyone's participating. Yeah. yeah. By right people, you mean all Americans, right, John? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> especially those, especially those with views aligned with ours. Oh well, I just I, I I'm uh, optimistic, and I'm really looking forward to when we can all just be Americans together again. Yes, very much so. I have unfriended so many people, and I and I say to them, if you vote for that, you're not my friend. You don't love me. You don't. Mm -hmm love anything i stand for why are we friends mm. yeah one of my friends that, that i grew relatives up. oh shit i mean i don't play games it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. i don't play games i've blocked and separated from people a lot of people have done that i think this is like there's just i think everyone is so tired of the division and and like this like it, it's I mean, I'm not going to say it's like civil war times, but you know, it's, 
this is this past four years has pitted you know brother against brother sister against sister mm -hmm. families and friends against each other and um you know enough is enough uh, it's just what i think yeah no i have yeah um, i've I haven't cut off any family members, but I've muted a few of them. So nice I, yeah, I don't see what they post. They don't see what I post, and that's the way to keep peace. Uh huh. And well, that's the way that to keep peace. Yeah, um, yeah. People on the periphery of my life who are who are orange uh, orange supporters, uh, they can be cut out no problem because they're not really in my life. Right. Right. So, and, and there are more than more than a couple of people who I'm incredibly disappointed in. Uh, how have you guys been doing with the COVID? Uh, so far, so far, okay. I mean, I've, I've been tested about six times. Really? Oh, it's like, only, yeah. only twice for me. I've I've traveled a couple of times. So my aunt, my aunt is a snowbird. So back back when she got tired of being in Florida in the middle of the summer. There's nobody in the community. I have to go, I have to go back to Long Island. So oh God. what I had to do is I had to, I had to, I had to take a plane from Miami to Tampa, stay overnight in Tampa and then go back to the airport with her to uh, on a plane to Long Island, but with a stopover in Baltimore. So I had to help her transfer planes in Baltimore Oh my to, God! To the airport on Long Island, got her to the exit with the with the person pushing the wheelchair. I stayed behind the security gate because an hour later I got on a flight back to Baltimore, back to back to Florida. So I, I went from I had like, I took like five flights in two days. That's Hopefully bananas. She's voting blue. Hmm? Hopefully she's voting blue. Uh, she's on mute. And you did all that for her? You're too nice. I would have said, go get one of the red relatives and let them do it for you. Oh, there's, well, that's, that's, that's the conflict that so many people are going through right now. It's like, you know, the, the, the people that you love that are in your family whose views are opposed to you and it's become so polarized and so, so vicious that it's, it's pulling families apart. I mean, disagreements like have always done that, but it's, it's so ferocious and fierce right now. Uh, it's it's disheartening. But wow, get, I'm I'm lucky. It's not like that with my family. Thank God. For most of my family, it's not. I mean, there are a few idiots. Wow. And missing. Well, I don't know about like peripheral. Like I don't know about cousins and whatnot. But I know like my immediate family. Like we're all, you know, we're all on the same page. Okay. which is good which but. is good so whether hopefully you'll be celebrating together on thanksgiving otherwise otherwise you'll be commiserating together yeah by the way i'm eating a brownie I'm, i had to put something in my face when i got in the door i was like i got off the train and i was walking like i was drunk and um i was like oh i need to put something in my face it's been a <laughs> while so sorry that's okay. Yep. What have you guys been doing for like self care during the the Rona times? <laughs> uh, I go for a lot of walks. Mhm. Mm and um, that's really it's it's you know, it's a, the building has a little fitness room and we have a pool right out our back door. Right before your fitness room is open. It is now. Oh my it god! Was, it was not through everything. So, wow. yeah, everything shut down. You know, the fitness room shuts down and the pool failed its inspection because the motor was missing a part and they couldn't get the part for five months. So through all of this, there's, you know, poor me, poor, you know, it's like, you know, w, <laughs> WPP, poor me. And I mean, you're in Florida with no pool? <laughs> I know. That's horrible. Uh, <laughs> I got a flat tire on my golf cart. I've been homebound ever since. Uh, 
I, she, I was talking to my mom the other day. She's so happy she traded in her old golf cart and got got a brand new a brand new used golf cart. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. Stop yeah, it. She lives in a community, right? Yeah, she she lives in a, a community in Largo, Florida, for the winter. Oh my god. I read. I saw something on. Uh, 60 minutes about i didn't even know this place existed a place called the villages in florida yeah. it's like the you didn't know that existed I no it's like half of florida <laughs> my i'm mother, not an old person i don't my know to live, my mother used to live in a community right next to it so she was in the poor community and that was the rich community oh my anyway, god the villages is like the sti capital of florida because of really? viagra yeah because of viagra that is nasty. <laughs> okay, for those at home who don't know, it's like the villages is a fifty-five plus community. Uh, oh my god! Full of They're mostly and eighty plus, plus. And, and it's incredible. It's like these these these. It's like Peyton oh, Place. Yeah, <laughs> these white-haired horn dogs. Oh, running around. That like sounds like the name Peyton of a. Place. That, that sounds like a punk rock band. <laughs> the white hair. White-haired horn, horn dogs. <laughs> If they have hair. Oh, God. Ew. Or teeth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know I'm being really ageist right now, but just the thought of, like, I don't know. Well, you're the youngest one here. Well, listen, no. It's the thought of, like, all those old straight people. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about the diapers. How did I get oh! oh God! No! <laughs> they the the... Heels, right? Oh my God! But it's funny. It's like if you go in there, it's like they're they're also hyper competitive, and you know there are all these symbols of status. We were talking about golf carts before. They have all yeah. these. They have all these fancy golf carts. They have golf carts that are customized to look like like Rolls Royces. They, they, spend, they spend tens of thousands of dollars to fancy up their golf carts. That's so dumb. <laughs> just, just for status. Oh my god, no, that is so doofy. Oh no. <laughs> and you know how many, how many golf cart DUIs there are in there? Oh my god. <laughs> they're they're coming home from their drunken booty call and they're crashing into each other. <laughs> Oh my god because like i saw this thing they were like doing these trump parades in their golf carts and i was like laughing i'm like that is so corny but oh my god no i don't want to be that person you guys can't turn into that person no, uh, no I, hope I hope not like i love seeing like um the older hispanic guy well there was one guy in my neighborhood i don't know where he is i hope he's all right but i don't know if he was puerto rican or Cuban, but he used to drive around the neighborhood with this tricked out bike. That wasn't the cool part. The cool part was the thing that he built to go on the back of the bike. Okay. It was so amazing. And like, like that I could be down with, but not like competitive golf cart purchases. Like, no. Oh, you know what I do want? I want, you know, those little NYPD um, one person vehicles. The three wheeler. Yeah. Yeah. I want one of those. They look so fun. I, I, I took my road, my motorcycle road testing one. I was, I was, I was, I was working security at the time in downtown Brooklyn and they, they hadn't, and I would get, you know, at the time a dollar an hour raise if I got my license for that. And I have a, a mortal terror of driving. So I did it. I, you know, it's like, I learned, I, I went and I took the road test. Somebody drove me to the road test and drove the scooter there. We switched out. The person giving the road test is following behind me in a car. I'm taking the entire test in first gear because I didn't want to stall out and I didn't want to risk failing the test because I wanted that dollar an hour. So the, the woman giving me the road test gets up to me on walkie talkie and says, pull over for a second. She came over to me and said, it's like, I know you can do it. I know you can go a little bit faster in this thing. <laughs> But I did, oh my I, I did my figure eights, I did my three circles to the left, I did my three circles to the right, and I have a motorcycle license because I tore up the restriction sheet before I ended in the paperwork at the DMV, and I got a full motorcycle license. 
And you have a fear of driving? I say, I, I've never been comfortable behind a wheel. Oh, but you do drive. I, I haven't driven in, actually that road test was probably the last time I drove. Oh my God, get out. <laughs> How do you get around in Florida? Uh, husband. Oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> driving a, Miss Johnny. The Publix down the block. And there's a TJ Maxx and a Goodwill store. A Publix? <laughs> Publix? <laughs> I hate that Publix grocery store. I don't know why. That's where I had to shop when we were down south uh, when I was uh, Publix, on the tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hated it, especially in Florida. Ugh. The, yeah, I that, don't know. That's the main chain. Oh, man. All these make us in roads, but that's the main chain. Well, they reflect the neighborhood. So at least when you go to Wilton Manors, it's very gay and they have products we would like. <laughs> we would like. <laughs> a loop section is to die for. The what section? The loop section. <laughs> ah, that's disgusting. I think they had that too, but anyway. <laughs> what are you talking? That is disgusting. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to give you like some old Upper West Side, New York, uh, uh, heard on the street. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, my hand keeps going in the. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's it, it's the the world of Zoom, and just. Yes. I hate it. Uh, me too. But <laughs> this is what happens, and this is what happens because you are watching Talking About. It. I'm John Griffith. I'm here with Cara Kildup and Joey Walter. Uh, and we're, we're chatting from different states and we're having a good time. And, uh, and Cara's eating brownies. Hey. Not, not the special kind of brownies, the real brownies. No, just regular. Regular old brownie, like nothing in it. Cause but I, I like the mess special with that. <laughs> Of course you do. Bless your heart. You are so special. Wait, I think I have a gummy somewhere. <laughs> oh god joseph uh... i only use topicals i only use topicals on my feet because of the i have that too i have topicals <laughs> oh my god where's my ben gay i'm very sore it smells like ben gay ben gay your whole life ha! it works it's good for the when you get the knot in the neck it, it helps the knot in the neck from sleeping wrong neck. it's killing me and you know you know what was good, like COVID Rona times when um, I wasn't working, was binge watching lots of TV. I did too. I got caught up on so much stuff. I saw things I didn't even see because I don't have cable. I, oh man. But now, you know, now things are sort of, um, oh, and New York is not dead, by the way. Stupid. No. Well, it's jumping where you live. There's a lot of bars with a lot of action. I mean, restaurants and parties I see people going to online. Oh, well, I'm not, I don't mess with that. I, I, no, they're outside, but it's Yeah, but still. Busy. People, people it's are still busy. being stupid. I mean, you're, on, you're in Florida in the land of the stupid. I mean, on Sundays, we go to our local bar that we normally, our local gay bar that we normally go to in the village. Local, not that local, but, you know, our local bar. Mm-hmm. And we sit outside, I drink water, I'm driving. Nico has a couple of beers, but the point is to keep the bar open. Right. Because we need yeah. places to go. And if you have your favorite bar, I say you suggest, you know, or a restaurant, you have to support them whichever way you can. And I, I've been bringing, you know, 15 to 20 friends to come and support my bar. And yeah. So we're, we've been doing, we were doing like Friday night takeout through, through the heat of everything. And then things opened up at 25% and we were kind of cautiously and we tiptoed in and we tiptoed out of a couple places and we were finally starting to get comfortable going in and sitting socially distanced from other tables and the, the restaurants were really good about spacing people out. And then the idiot governor opened everything up at 100%. And that's why the numbers are going up. And that's why the numbers are going up and that's why we started doing takeout again. Wait, wasn't, wow. I don't want to say who, but didn't um, someone say, stop taking tests, the numbers won't go up. You heard oh, that? Yeah. Oh my right? God. Wasn't it? Yeah. I, I the thought numbers, that was the, the dumbest thing I heard. Because of the testing, if we didn't do any testing, the, the, the numbers wouldn't There'd be, be no cases. That's so exactly. dumb. Oh my God. But if, if, if women didn't take pregnancy tests, there wouldn't be any babies. That's right. There would be no pregnancies. Uh, no, just surprise babies, right? 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they're Oops. getting pregnant. Yeah. If, if, if women didn't take a pregnancy test, you know, there, there wouldn't be a baby. If people didn't take an HIV test, it would cure, it would cure AIDS. <laughs> and there'd be no STDs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except in the villages. <laughs> do you think there's do you think there's bougie people that are like I live in the villages? <laughs> I would me. totally be that. I'd be like I live in the villages. So what? Villages. Can we shop can't... at Target, right? <laughs> yes, Target. Publix. Publix. Oh, that's funny. So people, all well, people are like that everywhere. It's like when we when we first moved in here. Um, we went to like, a little neighborhood event. They had like a, a food truck night. It was like two summers ago. And we were there and there was a little community association, you know, saying, hey, join us. You know, we'll give you a year for free. And the woman there was like, oh, you live over there. Is this the complex? Do you live in this complex? Oh, no, we live, we live down the block from that. Apparently, the complex down the block from us is not hoity-toity enough for, for her. Oh God, I, I can't. People are so ridiculous. I just can't. I mean, well, it's like where I, where I am, it's like we're on the we're on the budget side. It's like I'm the condo on the budget side. On the other side of the fence, right out my back window, are the three million dollar homes. On the other side of on the other side of their golf course. I remember it looked like a country club. Yeah, so we have the million dollar view from the other side, but there's a fence keeping us out, and I'm it's okay not, with that. And it's not even a big fence. I think yeah. I can hop over it. It's a fence keeping them in. Exactly. And Ugh. I'm okay with that. That's gross. Because it's their choice. It is That's whatever real it gross. is. No. No messy. Mm -mm. I believe it's not where you live, it's how you live. Yeah, of course. Oh my God. That's silly. I, I, I don't know how you do it in Florida. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I was telling Joey before you before you got here is that yeah, you know, it's I'm very grateful for who I got quarantined with. Yeah. Because there are other there are plenty of other people in my life who I love dearly. But if I had gotten quarantined with them, I would probably have jumped off the roof by now. Wow. Is it just you and Hernan? Yes, uh, his sister. His sister is about a twenty-minute drive away, and they were pretty much in total lockdown. She she was she's a teacher, so she was just like locked in for the summer. So wow. we had we had a small bubble. So like wow. every other week, every other week we would go up and we would see them and and feel comfortable knowing that they're doing the right thing, like we are. But well, I. If honestly, like I, I spent a lot of time with um, Astrid and uh, Sarah mm -hmm. during the <laughs> the quarantine. And if it wasn't for those girls, I would have gone crazy. Like I go hang out with them every couple days. Like it was ridiculous. Like we each had jobs. Like Astrid is an amazing cook, and she would cook. I would bring some sort of baked goods, and then Sarah was like our coffee sommelier, and. Mm -hmm. We just binge television and uh, like talk trash. It was wonderful. And now, like, we get together now. And it's like ten thirty. Everybody's like, we were up until like four. It was like, ladies, we are champions. And now at ten thirty, we're like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, I got a good early day tomorrow. Oh yeah, I got to work tomorrow. You know. But uh, yeah, so I, 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 all that, all the good food and that you're talking about, and it's like. Yeah, my, my doctor was referring to it as everybody's coming back with the COVID, not COVID-19, the COVID-19. Oh, the COVID-19. That, that you wear around your middle. Oh, right, 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 right. Joey, was it just you and Nico quarantining? Three months, we didn't leave our apartment. Everything oh was God. delivered for three months. And we live in a small studio in Manhattan. And you guys still love each other. You're still together. <laughs> no fight. Yay! He's hiding just outside the camera. <laughs> he's like, I got one behind that door. Oh, he's that way, I think. Somewhere that way. He's there. Okay. Aww. <laughs> stick up a way, stick up a finger. <laughs> you don't know which finger. They see it. Oh, oh hi, Nico. <laughs> 
Aww. Yeah, but now we, um, June, July, August, September. No, not June. The end of June, we moved into Jersey to take my sister. We were supposed to start renovation on our apartment. And we've been here for the summer, figure we have some space and a pool. I went in the pool twice. Quarantining alone and, you know, not having friends over and you don't enjoy everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it takes a toll. It really, it really does take a toll. Uh, um, I was talking with, uh, I, I did a, a little Zoom with, um, with Scott Kramer early mm -hmm. on. He, he, he was kind of giving me advice on, on how to cope and how to, how to distract yourself and how to keep a positive attitude and stuff like that. And then I did another chat with, with Damon Jacobs. And that was, you know, through COVID and, you know, how to safely, how to safely get some during COVID. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so. Wow. So at least I've, I've been busy doing, doing a, little, a few conversations here and there. <laughs> Very and nice. So, and it's interesting. It's like how to keep yourself safe and how to get some and keep yourself safe. <laughs> Wear a mask and a condom, right? <laughs> Well, wear a mask and, 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 and a condom. Yeah. And just only, only basically you have a different kind of bubble. You know, it's like you have your, you have your social bubble and then you have your, your booty bubble. Your booty bubble. Or your bubble booty. <laughs> anyway, we, we ventured out of New York twice this summer. We went to, hey, Hernan. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. How are you guys? We went to. Good. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying to take a sock off. Surviving the <laughs> without moving the phone. <laughs> it's not happening. We Damn. went. We went to um a clothing optional camp with a huge pool. The pool Thanks. was. 90% empty. I mean, the pool probably held a few hundred people. There were maybe 50 people in the pool, but little groups of like two and three. And you had to wear a mask the whole time in a pool. The only people who were allowed not to wear a mask were people who were actually swimming for exercise. Wait, you had it, to, oh, wow. So we're sitting in the pool with a drink and you have your mask on and you, and you lift it with a straw to have to spit your drink. And then, you know, you're like covered up. And they had like police and security going around. And if you didn't wear your mask, you got thrown out. <laughs> You're there, wow. but naked. You just asked me if we were off the air. No, we're on the air. No. You're there, but naked, but you have a mask <laughs> on your face. Everything else is hanging out. Wow. That's then, weird. Uh, yeah, it was. It was kind of weird, but the pool was empty. I mean, I'm used to crowded pools, especially clothing optional. Mm. And then we went to P-Town for Carnival Week for like two days. It was hetero city. Really? Wow. Well, well. I think the gays were at like 7% or 8%. <laughs> like, every other city, gays. like every other city. I oh, was man. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you saw the gays because it's a small town. You see them, but... Mostly straights with their little babies and their little rug rats running around. It was it was not fun. Wow. I don't know. I mean, either one of those options, I don't think I would have been comfortable at all doing. So, if if you were, then then that's fine. But it it would have been outside of my comfort level. Well, we were. Well, I had the Rona back in March in the beginning. I got tested right away. I had it. You okay. did. I did. I tested negative two weeks ago, but um, I, I told you I got tested twice, once in the beginning and then once recently. And I have also um, the antibodies, but I'm negative for COVID, but I have antibodies. Do, wait, did you have it like really bad? I didn't, oh my God, Joey. No, I had a slight asthma feeling, that was it, and a slight cough for like You're a week. Yeah. You're lucky. A, a friend of mine who I used to work with had it, and he said it was like the five most hellish weeks of his life. Mm. I just stayed in. That's why we wow. didn't leave the house. I didn't visit anyone. 
I waited for like two months of no symptoms before I went outside. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, but, I, but, I, but I wasn't sick. I just had it. I was like a carrier with a slight asthma. I mean, and what gave it away was when I took the inhaler, it made it worse. Hmm. It's, it's funny how, how wow. normal treatments react with this thing because it's and so then, freaky. Right. And because of that, that's why I went and got tested. I thought maybe I had a slight cold, you know, when you have a slight cold, I get a little asthma sometimes in the winter. No. Wow. I that's put it in Florida in February. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. It could have been. Or the bars. Who knows? It's yeah. been around for a few months from my understanding. So yeah, I mean, before it, that. It, it was trickling in last year. We just didn't know it. Yeah. Wow. That's bananas. Well, I just want you guys to know that I'm riding the trains regularly. So is my husband. They've never been cleaner. <laughs> really? You know, are the trains clean? Yeah. Less people in clean, he said. Yep. Yep. He's also riding the train at six in the morning. Wow. Oh, pro- but you know what? Listen, here's the thing. Like, all these jackasses working from home is kind of like... I mean, just for me personally, it's a good thing because I can get a seat home at rush hour, rush hour. I can sit down after being on my feet all day and I'm like, oh my God, this is great. But yeah, the trains are clean. Apparently crime is way up on the subway. And traffic is way up. Everyone's driving everywhere. Oh yeah. Hmm. I get a kick out of the folks that are driving wearing a mask. And, and they're, they're by the themselves car. in the car. <laughs> yes! That's crazy. By themselves in the cars. And yeah. Yes! And I, left, I look at them and laugh. I'm like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Only time Why? I wear my mask in the car is when I have my mother in the car. That's it. Oh, my God. Wait, what are you guys going to do for Thanksgiving? Are you, like, are you still just going to be, like, you and Nico and you and Hernan? Like... Well, I'm at my sister's house, so it's three of us now. We're going to my sister's. We're going to his sister's and their okay. behavior. Well, I don't know. Oh. Going to Connecticut or? Uh, I'm definitely not going down south. I'm not going to Texas. No effing way. Um, I don't know. I, I would like to see my family. I haven't seen them since Christmas. Um, but <clears throat> you know, we'll see. Because I, I don't want to bring any cooties into. Uh, I don't want to bring cooties to my folks, you know? Do a Zoom family reunion. I hate Zoom. Like this, this is like big that I'm like, I, I despise it. I do it. We do it every Friday night. Ugh. Why? Uh, ugh. It's horrible. Some of my friends still don't leave their home. They're above 60. Really? Some of them in their 60s do not leave their home. They're working oh from God. home. They get everything delivered. They only go out just to walk their dog for three minutes and bring and come back home. We do it with some friends too. Like we have a Canadian friends and uh, in New York. Well, it's different. In yeah. Florida, upstate in Florida, and uh, and we do it once in a while too to see yeah. each other and check on each other. And once a month, we'll have a, a cocktail and mocktail party mm-hmm. by right. Zoom. Uh, yeah. It's nice for a couple hours, and uh, you know we have we have our lesbian wives that we've done it done it with. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we do. Yeah, we do. We we met this we met this couple on a cruise, and yeah, we were part of a group, and they were on their own, and we just hit it off, and we ended up having dinner together a couple of times on the cruise, ignoring the group of people that we were with, and it turns out that they don't live they live a half an hour away from us here. And oh wow, that's pretty they've, cool. They've become our lesbian wives. <laughs> I like that. That's sweet. Oh, I think I saw a photo from like probably, a, probably. Yeah, cruise, cruise photo. <clears throat> oh, that's another thing. Like, what are the chances you guys are gonna go on a cruise we, in the near we future? Have, we have one for January. And we have to yeah, cancel it. we we had been booked on one for January, and to, we were hoping that it would feel safe, but we kind of knew, and we we canceled it. And hopefully, again someday. Hopefully, you know, the cruise line industry will survive this because it's it's been hit hard. Well, anything entertainment has been hit hard, as you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, they, 
you're a freaking comedian and you you have you have all your little comedian friends <laughs> well that and like um broadway friends and people yeah. that work on tours like <clears throat> they're all home <clears throat> so uh, that's that's been hard for for a lot of people like one of my friends he does he's um he works on broadway and I was like, well, what are you going to do? And he's like, girl, I signed up to take the MTA bus driver exam. And I said, really? He's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. You know. You but he's like, he's one of those people, like, he, I love him so much. Be part of it is because he thinks outside the box. And, like, of course he would take the bus driver exam. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but, sweetie, you'd be dealing with the public. <laughs> and he's like, I know. I could do it. And I, I'm just like, I don't know if I could see behind, you know, I, I mean, yeah, I could, but I don't know. That, that, that just makes me go off on a whole other tangent. Like I saw a bus driver today avoid something and I'm like, our bus drivers are amazing in New York city. Mm -hmm. They're, I don't know. Wow. Uh, anyway, I'm in well, awe I, of them. I knew somebody who was, who had taken the test and was going through the whole process and while he was still in training, but driving an actual bus under supervision, he had a conflict with a passenger, and that was it for him. Because he, he couldn't show any conflict resolution, and he just went off on the guy. Oh, wow. So they, they get some training. Or they need some patience. Well, I, I mean, I just, they put up with so much, and like, wow. It's, they're just... Amazing. The way they swing those big ass buses around. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't do it. Yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, talking about yeah, people in the arts finding finding different careers and occupations. I mean, we we I was talking about this a little bit with Joey before, but yeah, we we can't get a new stimulus deal. And yeah, Mitch McConnell adjourns the Senate for until post election, but they can ramp they can ramp through a judge. Mm -hmm. They can ramp through a justice, but they can't come together on a stimulus package. Yeah, you know, which one is going to help America more? Well, you you know the answer to that. Yeah. Yeah, and the vast majority are in there for themselves and not the people. Drives me crazy. One of my cats has joined me. Um, Joey, you can make your pussy joke now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I tell you guys? My cat passed away. What? Really? I, I saw him. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, honey. He had a heart attack. He was old. Oh. He was 15. I think the change stressed him and being in a house with two other cats. And even though we kept trying to keep him separated, he wanted to go out yeah. you know, and, you know, venture the house and growl at the other cats and... Are you guys gonna get another one? No more animals. Aww. Here we have animals, so we. One of the cats adopted us here. Okay. <laughs> What's the timeline for you to get back into the apartment? If we start, we just got our permit on Saturday, which is unheard. Oh. Um, if we start next week, we should be in before Christmas. Okay. You know, middle of That's December. That's nice. Something. You know, we already know the furniture we want to buy, but we have to wait for the walls to go up and measure them to see, you know, if the furniture we want will fit. Remember, it's still a small New York apartment. Mm-hmm. And it's going to cost us lots of money. money. New furniture here, so. <laughs> yeah, we used, our, we used our cruise dollars to get a new sofa. Yeah, we got oh. a new sofa. Oh, we, um, we have Amazon money. We're buying everything on Amazon. You know, that's, a, that's one of the things about the, the Rona that <clears throat> I'm never really home that much. But then I was home and I was like, oh, my God, I hate my furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, this is terrible. So I've been like, you know, uh, like checking to see like what I, what I would like and, and whatnot. Like I bought a new rug for the living room. Cause I was like, Oh, I fucking hate that rug. Why do I have it? You know, it's kind of like, um, uh, a Marie Kondo situation, but like with a lot of more swear words, you know, 
just like, oh, you don't bring me any joy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I guess, like, I was trying to find positives. And um, I've been trying to find positives to this whole thing. But then at the same time, I have to admit, like, what, a, what uh, like, because I, I wasn't really acknowledging what was bothering me about the COVID. It's like the wearing the mask thing. Cause I have to keep it on my face all fucking day. Like when I'm in and out of people's homes and whatnot. So uh, I, a doorman I know hooked me up with these. Um, he got these masks like when it first started and he doesn't, they, you have to tie them. And I like those. And he's like, here, I fucking hate these. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> these, are, these are comfortable. They don't hurt my ears. Like my glasses don't fog up. I'm like, sweet. Do you, guys have, do you guys have like a whole collection of masks, reusable yeah, masks yeah. that you cycle through? Like I, I've gotten so bad, I'm like, oh, this one is so cute. We even have a square, square one on the car because sometimes you're gonna yeah, have yeah, the, the emergency car mask. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny mm -hmm. in the beginning when masks were hard to come by, especially the ones that actually protect you. It's like we were lucky that we got a couple early on. Just yeah just because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. So we had those with filters and then, and then it became difficult to get one. So I was just like ordering, okay, this says it'll be here in two weeks. This says it'll be here in six. This says, and the, the shipping times were constantly changing. So I think for a while, yeah, every, every week or every couple of weeks, oh, more masks, more masks are here. I wonder when I ordered these. That happened to one of my that. friends. She ordered like all a shit ton of, um, hand sanitizer mm -hmm. and it like all came at these weird times it was like why do you have six gallons of hand sanitizer <laughs> like are you guys getting lysol yet no we we hit costco we have lysol. just the right time we hit costco, we hit costco at just the right time. time yeah we got lysol we got it on amazon at for a decent price we have lysol we have toilet paper we have paper towels and we have sanitary wipes and we have tissue <laughs> wipes we do too we have all of that <laughs> I got Costco at the right time for the um, for the what do you call it wipes, the sanitizing wipes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's uh. Joey, I can't believe you had the Rona. I'm so sorry. It wasn't bad at all. So. Well, and the, and you know what's funny too, John? Like typical Joey, he just smiles. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had it. Uh... Yeah, I love that smile. I miss it. <laughs> I think I think it was a mild case. I mean, and and you very really. mild. So it made me not afraid if I get it again. Well, that's not good. Be a little afraid. No, it's called. I'll just stay home for whatever length of time again without seeing anybody, like I did before. Yeah. It's just now. It's it's you have to fight the depression because we still stay home ninety percent of the time, other than work. Yeah. I go see clients, you know, once or twice a week. I wear the mask. I stay distance, you know, because for work, I have to see people all day long. Yeah. The distance. And I have to interview, you know, five to ten people a day. And, and we're, we're all fighting COVID fatigue. Yeah, so, you know, we're all, we're all tired of quarantining. We're tired, tired of the mess. We're tired of not seeing the people that we care about, not tired of not getting hugs. And, and then, tired of seeing people in the supermarket with a mask like this. Oh, oh, man, I hate uh, that. And, and he tells me to calm down, so I'm ready to argue and fight. Oh, uh, we, we've carried out a couple of times over, over that. <laughs> yeah. Especially him. It's like we were, we, were, we were picking up some takeout, and the person making our food was, was the under-the-nose kind of guy. And I would have said, just give me my money back. I've done it. Well, we we didn't we didn't pay yet. It was, it was one of those where they make everything for you and then you hit the cashier. We let them finish making everything for us and then we just turned around and walked out. Why? I wasn't feeling safe. He he didn't feel safe. It was it was in the thick of everything and yeah, the tension was high. Mm. But because uh, you don't know what these people are doing when they're home or out or how many people they're visiting. Yeah. And and when you work grocery shopping, if you see too many people in the aisle, you just cough and they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I've I seen people not. without weight. <laughs> I, 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 Jersey, New Jersey is much worse than New York. I'm here, I go to the Walmart. I see people walking around without masks. 
in the Walmart or the you know, half mask. And it's okay. And I'm talking about workers included. That is not, you know what I've seen a lot of? I've seen a lot of New York City cops not wearing masks. I've seen that too. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of them by the, um, the Trump Hotel, Columbus Circle. Like whenever there's a protest, you know, they all meet up whatever and it's like they're not wearing masks we had we had like, a sheriff uh, we had a sheriff down here mandate that his division not wear masks it's crazy that's nuts but like i'm thinking about these cops they come in contact with god knows how many people when, whenever they're out when they're working it's like mm -hmm. why wouldn't you protect it's, yourself all kinds of people for their family Listen, I just want to say goodbye to the viewers at home. We're going to keep talking, but uh, you've been watching Talking About I'm John Griffith. This is Hernan, and you are? Cara Kelly. Joey Walters. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing this again soon, and we'll see you. Okay. Bye. Bye.